Hello, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to my channel and I would like to help you guys out on how to convert your Asus ROG phone from China ROM to global ROM or vice versa. Uh, mine is uh, uh, currently at global ROM and I don't want it anymore so I'll convert it to China ROM and as you can see here so it's a I don't know if you can see it properly software information is global so first thing to do before we start flashing our phone is be sure we take out all lock codes and fingerprint so let's go to security and lock screen enter in. so let's just choose none and remove be sure also that everything like facial recognition everything is off and after that be sure also that you log out of your Google account so be sure to remove your account there this way we make sure that once we restart our phone we don't get locked out by Google so all accounts are all locked out just open account see just to double check everything is locked out go to system see everything's all done okay so first things first right after we see everything's all signed out you can check in Google Play just to make sure so what we can do right now is to have first you power off the phone And you have to start the phone in fast boot mode. Going to fast boot mode, just press the power button and up volume key at the same time for about five seconds, and you get to see this. Okay, so after that, connect your USB type C not at the bottom but at the side of the phone so be sure you don't make that mistake because when we're flashing firmwares it has to be at the side of the phone just take this rubber thing out of here there. by the way I will be linking in the description all the files you need to download and also the direction and the post from uh, from XDA which you could follow be sure you put the USB type C on the black port not on the red side as you don't want to damage your phone okay okay so as soon as your computer reads your phone you have to download either the global firmware or the China firmware in my case I have downloaded the China firmware because I want to go back to China firmware if you want to go to global firmware then you have to download the global firmware China firmware has a CN in front and the global firmware will have a WW in front of the file name extract the files on your desktop which I already have done this would be the look of your file so total number of files should be 18 18 items so just be sure you double check on that then right after that go to flash all underscore AFT right click on that run and run as administrator just click on that windows will uh, pop up with the prompt just just say yes so we just have to wait just leave your computer don't touch your computer until everything says it's successful 
This will take more or less about 5 to 10 minutes. So even if nothing moves, uh, don't worry, it's working. Your phone is flashing. It will not show any progress bar. It will just say completed after it's done. And the device will restart itself. So just be patient. Uh, by the way, the reason why I'm going back to China ROM from my Global ROM is because uh, Global ROM doesn't receive updates. Uh, apparently, I'm using the 10 cent version of the ROG2, and once you start flashing the Global ROM, uh, for some reason it will not receive any updates. It it will not be able also, it, will, it won't allow you to manually flush, flash the uh, updates downloaded on the ASUS site. So I don't want having a new phone with old software. So I'd rather go to China ROM, which that way you'll have maybe updates every two weeks to a month consistently, thus keeping your Android security safe. So... I'll be back as soon as it's finished and I'll show you what the screen looks like. Okay, so all you have to do is wait. And as soon as it's done, your phone will restart and the window will disappear. So as you can see, my phone is restarting. So just a reminder, uh, you're doing this at your own risk. I'm not going to be held liable for any damage this might cause your phone. Uh, I myself uh, just followed the instructions on ADA, uh, XDA. So there's a disclaimer there. Just read it and the instructions are all plain and simple to follow. Uh, one thing that says there is right after your phone restarts, uh, this is very important. You need to do a factory wipe. You need to do a factory wipe of your phone through fast boot mode. So let's just wait for my phone to start. Then we'll go back to fast boot mode and I'll show you how to do a factory wipe. Also, right after factory wipe, we'll have to lock the bootloader again. So, see, now you can see everything is in Chinese. So what we have to do now is we power off the phone. So all we need to do is press and hold the power and up button for about 3 seconds. And you'll go back to recovery mode. By pressing the power up button, you'll be able to switch to different options. So just go to recovery mode and press the power button to enter. Okay, choose the option wipe data factory reset. Press the power button again. Scroll down using the volume button to yes. Press the power button. This will erase your phone completely. So just to make sure, I usually do this like a couple of times. Just to make sure that everything is erased from the previous ROM. Then right after that, uh, we need to lock the bootloader for us to be able to receive uh, updates. So, just go to Reboot System now. Press the Power and Up button again until we're back here. Connect your Type-C cable again at the black port at the side. And go to your Command Prompt on Windows. So, if you're using Windows 10 like me, all you have to do is 
search per command prompt, just type cmd, enter. Then you will have to put or to type this code. So right after you go to recovery mode, I will put a link in the description uh, on this minimal ADB fastboot file. All you have to do is install it. And once you install it, you have to open. You'll come up to this uh, command prompt window. And to check if your device is locked or unlocked, just put this command. Fastboot space OEM dash CSC underscore LK. Uh, for my particular device, right after uh, I did the factory wipe, apparently it already locked the bootloader back to normal. So when once you type in this command and your device is not locked, it will lock it. It will lock the bootloader. But if it's locked like mine, you'll have a different command. Here, let, it says fast boot OE space OEM space Asus dash CSC underscore LK. So as soon as I press enter, you will see it says failed remote device already locked. So this proves that my device has been already locked and will receive over the air updates on my new China ROM. So all you have to do is go to start and this will restart your phone and you may you can just go to the usual setup we usually go when we set up a phone there everything is that is that a should be so you just go to uh, let's say next then you can just go okay next down agree Let's skip everything first I'll be skipping everything just to show you that the system works. And there, as you can see, I'm now on my China ROM. Go to my settings, system, there, about phone, and here by the software information as you notice it is now on CN so by doing this I'll be receiving more frequent updates and I hope you like my tutorial uh, if ever you like my tutorial put a thumbs up and subscribe click and click the notification bell for every time I have a new video you'll get notified I'll be doing uh, reviews on gadgets and other phones on the future. So hope you like it. Thank you so much and enjoy your new ROM.